Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I've got the ICOM 7610 set up with a receive antenna. So in this video, we'll go over the antenna selection, dual watch, and tracking. Okay, well I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I have a 80 foot random wire that I've been using with my Elecraft KX2 and it works really well. It's got a BNC connector on the 9 to 1 un un, that's a unbalanced to unbalanced. So I hooked it up to the BNC connector on the back of my ICOM 7610. So that's just the receive antenna. And I still have my external tuner hooked up to antenna 1 on the ICOM 7610. So if you take a look at it, I'm going to hold in the button and uh, that soft button there for one second and you see the EXT that shows that it's the external tuner. So I have a dummy load hooked up to the antenna 2 jack on the back of it and I use that dummy load every once in a while but that's normally where it is. So I'm going to show you how I got it set up and I've been using the 80 foot random wire as a receive antenna and sometimes it receives better than the 8040 Ultimax that I have set up as an inverted V. Other times it doesn't and it collects more noise than the 8040 Ultimax. But it's kind of fun to use and just try out on different bands to see how well it works. So let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to hit the uh, menu button here and then we're going to go into the antenna. And there's a couple of things to set, the type and the switch. And I'm using manual. I'll do another video on auto. I'll set this up differently and do another video. But for the type, we want to tap the type button here. And we want connect receive antenna. So we're going to connect the receive antenna to the BNC connector. The other choice is connect an external device. And we won't go into that right now. So we have that set up. We have it set to manual. And uh, if you want to change it to auto or change it off for auto, you can do it by pressing the antenna switch button. Just tap it. I'm going back to manual. So I'm going to do this uh, simply by holding down the button up here. So one, one way to use this, I'll exit out, bring up the scope. One way to use this is just to listen to a station and I'm going to turn up my receive so I can hear it. I can hear Ed in there pretty good right now. I'm going to Tap and hold that, and I think that that is probably about the same strength, same amount of noise. And you can see the 1 slash R, that indicates that I'm using antenna 1 and the BNC receive antenna on the ICOM 7610. The R is for the receive antenna. That receive antenna is hooked up to the RXN on the back of the radio. I'll have an article up on my website www.k0pir.us and it will go into a little bit more detail about that. So let's uh, let's go back to what I normally have it set for. So that's one way to use it. Another way to use it is to simply uh, go in and set up tracking. And to set up tracking, what we want to do is touch the dual watch. I am on the same frequency right now. But to change the antenna to the RX antenna, 
I'm going to hold that down and you'll see the antenna changed over so I'm listening on the receive antenna on that sub band I'll go back to the main band and you can see that I am still on the regular antenna which is the Ultimax inverted V so I can listen to both of them at the same time and I don't you're not going to be able to hear that through my the piping out of the USB audio so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and turn it up so you can hear it through the microphone I can turn off the sub, mute it, turn it back on, mute the main. I have more noise on the sub than I do the main or that receive antenna. You can see the signal strength is about the same. So we're in dual watch right now. We can set up tracking if we hold down the menu button and then the tracking. Hold that down for one second and you'll notice that the light flashes on the main sub. Now when I tune the dial, the sub is going to follow the main. And if I want to see which antenna is better, I'll mute the main. And now I'll mute the sub. The signal strength that is a little bit more on the main and the regular 8040 Ultimax, so I would leave it on there. So if I'm tuning up and down the band, and I can tell by looking at the meter that the 8040 Ultimax is a better receiving antenna. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mute them both. That's how I've been using the receive antenna and tracking. And I'll try to put a clip at the end of this showing uh, sometimes there is a, a real difference between the receive antenna and my regular antenna. CEO, Bob in Downers Grove, Illinois. And uh, yeah, good to hear you. It's uh, not uh, your normal strength, but uh, that's band conditions. Your signal is coming up. I'm sure by top of the hour you'll be uh, pounded in here. But uh, I'm glad to hear you. And uh, hope all is good. Uh, right now we've got clear skies, a temperature of 54 going to get up to about 74 today, so it should be a good day, and uh, I've taken a couple of days off today and tomorrow, and it looks like at least one of them is going to be pretty good, so I better do what I need to do outside uh, today because I can't rely on tomorrow. That's it from Downers Grove, Rich. Good to hear you, and uh, have a good day. J0PIR, WB9BGO. Okay, Bob, good copy on you, uh, WB9VGO, K0PIR. Thanks for checking in, Bob. Great to hear you in there. Okay, and finally, here's a quick tip. To exit out of tracking, just hold down the main sub button here for one second, and you'll see the main slash sub light will quit flashing. There you go. Okay, well, I hope you find this informative and useful. I'll have more information on my website, and I'll do another article on diversity reception. 
Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.